everyone. Hope you're doing well. I'm having an okay day today. Just okay. Um, I wanted to talk about chronic pain and how I deal with it. I felt like it was I was compelled to really talk about it because I was having a bad day dealing with it. And then I started to be in my um, knowledgeable mind and how I tried to turn around and make a negative into a positive. It's really hard to deal with chronic pain. If you live with chronic pain, you know what I'm talking about. If you are lucky enough to not live with chronic pain, I can see how it would seem like people who are in chronic pain, pardon me, seem like they complain a lot. Um, It gets to you not only physically, but it can really wear on you emotionally. And that's what I wanted to talk about today, the emotional side of chronic pain. Every day when I wake up, I hope that the pain is gone. And it doesn't take very long for me to be awake, for me to realize that the pain is still with me. I've been going back and forth with pain management for a few years now, and I've been dealing with this chronic pain for quite some time, decades really. And most times I deal with it, grin with grin and smile and bear with it. And some days I have days where I'm just so depressed about it. And today was one of those days where I was just really down and depressed. Every day I have the greatest of hopes that the pain's going to go away. And every day I have a reminder that it's back with me. And for a few hours today, I was stuck in that depression. I just, I didn't want to do anything. I tried doing my regular routine, had a cup of coffee, said my morning prayers, tried to be grateful, did some piddling around on the computer, tried to watch some things that make me laugh, um, watch some things that naturally and normally interest me, but my interest was down and I was, found myself wallowing in self-pity. And that is something that I hate to get myself trapped in. It's a really hard place to climb out of when you find yourself there. And I know sometimes I look out my window and I see people walking around and on bicycles and just running their errands. And sometimes I'm gonna, I will admit to you, I get down and I wonder, Why can't I do that? Why does it look like it's so easy for them to do? And I have such a struggle to do everyday tasks. Now, I don't let them things stop me. I still go about and do the things I need to do. And sometimes I push myself. I don't slow down when I need to because I want to prove that I can do something. And I always end up paying the price. It seems like a vicious cycle sometimes. It never ends. And then I always have to break down and take some medication. I honestly don't know why I fight medication. I mean, we're lucky enough to live in an age where there are medications that can help. Yet in my mind, there's always this constant struggle that if I take the medication, I'm somehow failing. That I'm somehow admitting defeat and that I can't handle the pain on my own. I know it's psychological with me. And I know that it's an inner turmoil that I've been fighting with for years. And I know that there's other people out there that suffer like I do. And I know that it's really easy to be down in the dumps when you're not feeling well. When things that seems like other people do that take little to no effort, everything seems like it's such a difficult task for you to do when you have chronic pain. It's always there. So, with that being said, how do you deal with it and still go on in your life and try to be positive and make the most of what you have? I figured it out today. Gratefulness. I'm grateful for what I have. You know, pain really is a good indicator that there's something wrong. And there's actually people out there in the world that can't feel pain, physical pain. 
And even though that sounds like a dream, think of how much damage you would do to yourself if you couldn't feel physical pain. How much you would push yourself over the limit if you didn't have your body's way of signaling that, hey, you need to slow down, there's something going on. So even though this pain is a pain in the drain, physically, emotionally, mentally, I'm grateful that I can feel pain and that I have an indicator that I need to slow down. I'm grateful that I have insurance that I can see doctors. I'm grateful that I have a partner that is so patient with me and is willing to help me and massage my back when my back starts to tense up and my muscles spasm. I'm grateful that I have tools that my counselor has given me to teach me how to do breathing and techniques to keep me calm. I'm grateful for you guys that I have a YouTube channel I can come to and talk to people and leave my thoughts and words of encouragement to other people that are going through situations like me. So that if just one person hears these videos and can just get a little bit of information or can recognize some of the situations I've gone through and can see themselves in it, and if it just lifts one person's spirit, that's something to be grateful for. So I'm basically taking my negative today and hoping that this pain will go away for me to work on my weekend shift. And I'm going to think of it as a positive. I'm even going to reward myself with a hot bubble bath. Doesn't that sound great? So I know I have to just learn to take those negatives and turn them into positives. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Sometimes you have to dig down really, really deep to find the positive. I know how difficult it can be. But I found it today. And I wanted to come on and I wanted to share it with you guys. And this video is a little shorter than my normal videos. But I wanted to come on and share this with you. And to anyone out there that's suffering with chronic pain, I understand and if you're fighting like I am to take your medications and feel like you're a failure because you have to take them, hopefully I'm the only one that's foolish like that. But please don't feel like a failure if you have to take the medication. Be grateful that there's medications out there that can help you. We don't have to suffer alone. If you have the means and the opportunity to see a doctor to help you with your pain, go and see it. It's not copping out. It's taking good care of yourself. Mani, body, mani, mani. I was trying to say mind and body together. So I made a new word. It's taking care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm sorry for the short video today, but that's what's on my mind. And I'm sorry I'm holding my camera. I just, I was going to lose daylight and I wanted to get a video out to you guys. I still haven't gotten a chance to get out and go get a tripod or a ring light, so bear with me. I'm getting there, though. I'll get there eventually. Just there's been so much going on, I haven't had time to do it. But I'm thinking about you all, and I hope this video, like all my videos, find you well. And until I talk to you again, take care. And if I don't get on to make a video tomorrow... I wish you guys a great weekend. I hope you all enjoy yourself if you're lucky enough to have the time off. And if you have to work like me, I hope your weekend goes quickly. <laughs> and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.